Wilfred Buck Nitsishnilasen, Baskiak Nino Ate. My name is uh, Wilfred Buck. Greetings, my relatives. I'm from uh, Baskiak Cree Nation. As a child, I grew up in the uh, northern boreal forest near the uh, Saskatchewan Manitoba border on the Saskatchewan River. And uh, in the winter evenings, at, uh, when it got dark, sometimes we get an amazing display in the sky. And these were, of course, were the northern lights. And uh, we were told as uh, children that uh, we shouldn't whistle at the northern lights in the nighttime. And uh, if we did, that uh, they told us that the, uh, the northern lights would come to get us and take us away. And in the Cree language, the northern lights are called Wawa Dewin, when they're uh, one or two strands in the sky moving. And when, they're, they're, when they totally fill the sky and they're dancing around, sometimes you can hear a static, you can, you can smell the ozone even. Uh, we call them Chi Pai Ni Mintuan, which means the spirits are dancing. Of course, we tried to do it. We tried to whistle at the Northern Lights all the time. But uh, I guess the reason we were told this is because uh, during the long winter months, of course, it was dark for hours and hours upon end uh, in the winter, and there was very little daylight. And so uh, one of the things uh, our parents and the elders didn't want us to do was to go out, go out in the bush and run around in the bush, especially at night, because in the night there was uh, a lot of... Uh, animals, hungry animals, because uh, it was winter and there was, there was uh, very little food. And uh, we, they were afraid that uh, we'd get taken by a wolf or something. And so uh, that was one of, the, uh, one of the scares they put into us to keep us near, near, near the village and near the uh, community so we wouldn't go wandering around in the bush. So that's Chi Pai Ni Mintuan. That means the spirits are dancing. That's the story of the Northern Lights. Thanks,